So Dr. S, tell us a little bit more about the Tom's specific situation and why you chose the technique that you used and you got a tremendous result. Well, thank you. I think when Tom and I first met, he actually told me that even though he was a competitive swimmer, he's a very competitive athlete in high school, irrespective of how much he worked out, how much he dieted, exercised, everything across the board, he's always had some fullness in his chest. And the first thing I wanted to do was differentiate Tom's fullness from gynecomastia or pseudo-gynecomastia. And what he told me was he had a treatment that was non-invasive on his chest, which actually made things worse before it got better. So he actually sure. had a lot more fullness in his chest and some stubborn fat. Mm -hmm. So first thing I want to do is make sure he didn't have a history of breast cancer, that his family didn't. Once we made, we got all these different data points down that it was appropriate to move forward with Tom, I said, let's liposuction you, Tom. Gold standard as a plastic surgeon. I thought one shot, go to the operating room, sculpt out his chest. And Tom was like, absolutely not. <laughs> We're not having surgery. And like most patients these days, Tom was like, I want it, and I want it yesterday, and I want to see an improvement yesterday. So the fact is, is I opted to do something, what I thought was innovative, in using my surgery in a syringe, Kybella body contouring treatment for Tom's chest. And so we used Kybella to permanently destroy the fat under the skin on Tom and help reduce, tighten the skin and make a dramatic change in his life and also, of course, in his photos. And Dr. S, this Kybella treatments, we started with double chins in the neck and now we found it works so well there that we're venturing to other body areas. So how much Kybella did you have to use? Did you have to do multiple treatments to get this kind of result? And, and what was the time frame from when you started to, to the result now? Absolutely, so first of all, yes, we had to use a lot of Kybella. <laughs> we <laughs> pre-ordered a lot of it to make sure we had it available because we used more than the standard small amount that we use in the double chin or in the neck. So we used a lot more product and did this over four treatment cycles for Tom, about six to seven weeks apart. But what was important for Tom is because we wanted to make sure that we really captured his attention and make sure we saw an improvement, I was the most aggressive on round one. So all those dots and injection sites we saw from the video was his first most aggressive treatment. And then with each subsequent treatment, we actually just funneled down and used less and less product. Think about the layers of fat like layers of an onion. So we were just peeling them away or melting them away, So which is why he didn't have as much downtime or as much uh, of an aggressive treatment with subsequent treatments because we're just treating the fat. So it's very customizable for his overall and anatomy. And the advantage, he didn't have to undergo a surgical procedure. It did take a little bit longer and you you rely on your, your body's own yeah. lymphatic system to, to uh, remove the fat that's been broken down. Absolutely, the Kybella hits the fat cells and it's transformative. Immediately on contact, it permanently destroys the fat and then your body goes through a healing process like most treatments where it started to clear that fat and then he excreted it. So that was really what was great about it. He has to be patient and understand it takes a little bit longer to get there, but he avoided surgery. He literally had the treatment 45 late minutes later, he's throwing a t-shirt or his coat coat on, walking around streets of New York. No one knows he had anything done and we moved on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I have to say this, Tom, before we go, you're a stylist. Yes. Can we talk about Dr. S's style? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this sharp man, dapper, yes. No, you, I, I, I'm really happy you were able to profile this for us. And Tom, push comes to shove, all that matters is you seem really happy with the results. So yeah, we're happy real. for you. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you.